Keep them Vinny Mac walls up. What in the? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get it on. Oh yeah, it's about to go down. I've been waiting to play this one. This is a remake of what I think is the greatest RPG of all time. The legendary, the Oregon Trail. Yeah, I said it, you heard me correctly. This is the greatest RPG of all time. This is better than Final Fantasy. This is better than Xenoblade. This is definitely better than Shining Force. Feel free to fight me in the comments section. I bet you won't. But thanks for tuning in anyway. Especially all of our all of our gas family members. We're well over 1,200 subs. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and smack the hell out of the notification bell so you know when we go live with new content such as this. And this is only part one. Only part one of our trek down the Oregon Trail. Will we make it? We gonna try. Let's get there, y'all. Come on. Let's start this journey. Let's get it. Okay. In creating this new game in the beloved Oregon Trail series, we were determined to better depict Native American perspectives for indigenous people. Westward expansion. Sorry, I forgot how to read. Westward expansion was not an adventure, but an invasion. That is facts. Recognizing this, comp this complex history, we have collaborated with Native American scholars to bring a new, level of rep a new level of respectful representation to the game. For the first time, the game features Native American playable characters and stories celebrating the history and cultures of the peoples who first lived on this land and still live here today. That is awesome. I love how this game looks. I like the dot matrix, the dot matrix oxen wagon. That's awesome. Heart harkening back to the Apple II days. Your first journey begins in Independence. Reach a fort to unlock to unlock it as fast travel location. Once unlocked, you can hire a guide to take you straight there on your next attempt to reach the Oregon. To reach Oregon. <sighs> Spoken from John Half Moon. Alright. So we're starting in Independence. That music goes in. I like how that, I like that. That's an outlaw country right there. 1849, May 1st. All right. Take a journey across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagon burns, or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or you die from chlorine. Don't give up. Try again and again and again and again and again and again. This game will make you rage. All right, let's. Uh, all right, good enough for me. Not sure what to buy. This kit is perfect for greenhorn. <laughs> Greenhorns. <laughs> Just setting out on their journey, or you prefer to start from scratch and choose your own supplies. Yeah, no, we gonna we gonna get a kit. Okay, we got the the greenhorns kit. We ain't no greenhorn, even though I do respect the fact that they're using uh, business terms. I like that. All right, um, hunter's kit. Murphy's wagon, Murphy wagon, a hundred bullets, ten clothes, one coffee. All right, Fisher's kit. Hmm. Yeah, no bullets. Carpenter's kit. All right, you know what? Oh yeah, hold on. 
Carpenter's kid got two, got, the Carpenter's kid got wagon grease. But the problem is we're giving up 200 pounds of meat. We got plenty of flour, but we're giving up 200 pounds of meat. And a hundred bullets. And how many bullet? 50 bullets on the carbon? Ah, right, yeah. Let's do the hunters. I'm sure we'll come across some, uh... I'm sure we'll come across some wagon grease at some point. Alright. We arrange what we got. Yep, the meat. I like how they make this look like a Resident Evil, uh, Resident Evil inventory. And we got us a hymn book also. Alright. Pay now, let's go. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Our modern day caravan of courage. We are off. Walking with walking down the street with a Vinimax struts. All confident. Alright, we're heading up to the Kansas River crossing. Reach the next settlement in nine days of war. Okay. Alright, let's get it. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go to shorter path. As morning breaks in independence, our intrepid travelers take their first steps on the Oregon Trail. And there they go. Spirits are high, everyone's in peak physical condition, and the wagon is stocked, and the party is filled with vim and vigor. For now. They're going a mile a step. That's crazy. They're making good time. Uh-oh. A bison lies in the dirt beside the trail, unmoving. It doesn't appear to have any external wounds or evidence of sickness, at least at a quick glance. However, further investigation may be necessary to determine the safety of any meat. Yep, let's investigate. Who should investigate? Stila! Let's send our princess up there. Hygiene. Oh, dang. She took a hit with the morale? Dang. Choking down vomit. Oh, wow. Stila doesn't even dare to inspect the carcass. Lest, her lose, lest she lose her lunch. Oh, well, I'll be better for the task. That's not good. She's supposed to be our our person. All right, let's send Gideon in there. See what he say. Gideon holds his breath to investigate the carcass. He can see nothing external suggesting the meat is unsafe and concludes it is likely the bison simply perished of old age. With little time, the carcass could be butchered and greatly aid the party. Yep, let's gather that meat. Gideon butchers the bison, collecting as much good meat as possible and hefting it back to the wagon. My man. Let's get it. Got us some more meat. We got here. The party comes across a field of lush green, of lush grass, perfect for grazing. It's a good place to give the oxen a break if there's time to spare. And let's rest. I know it feels like we just left, but every bit of rest actually counts in this game. The oxen spend several hours grazing slowly, enjoying the meal. They seem refreshed and good spirit and good spirited by the time the party is ready to set out. Yep. That's 
forehead and undiscovered locale. Wait, undiscovered locale on the trail. Oh. Eh, why not? Let's keep it moving. Keep them Vinnie Mac walking up. What in the hell? That dude just fell out of the sky. The party is at a complete loss for words. It's not every day that a man falls from the sky. Regardless, responsible thing to do might be to offer some assistance, assuming he survived the fall. Uh, yeah, let's assist him. Let's see what this guy's about. Hmm. Concern at all? Looks like I've run out of steam again. I knew these engines were nothing but trouble. The strange man dusts himself off. Excuse me, where are my manners? My name is Samuel Pepper, and I thank you kindly for your help just now. What you just witnessed was my latest invention, a flying machine, though I admit it is something of a work in progress. All that's missing is the right source of power. Steam engines, modern though, modern though they may be, are simple not up to task. Hmm? Or are simply not up to task. Forget it. I'm, it's it's uh, late. I'm going to have trouble reading tonight. Samuel Pepper strokes his chin in thought. You are quite... You are quite right to be impressed. I have studied the work of Sir George Cayley, an, in, an English inventor who has already built a working heavier than air guide, glider. It's only a matter of time before humanity achieves a dream of power flight. Fast forward a hundred some odd years, I jump on planes all the time. My dream is that America will be the first to make such a flight. Indeed, if the winds are favorable, I see no reason why it shouldn't be me. Samuel Pepper looks very excited. It was a pleasure to meet you. Perhaps we'll see each other again after all. Who knows what the future holds? I shall endeavor to spy you from above. And awkwardly, our crew, our crew moves on. With 35 miles to go until we get to the river crossing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Welcome, travelers. Step right up and play our game. My brothers and I will shuffle ourselves around when we stop and see if you can pick me out. Yeah, no. You're lost, friends. No, you're lost. Fuck yourselves. I'm trying to lose, trying to lose money because of a couple of uh, three identical looking, three identical looking chumps. Steelers morale took a hit. Hmm. Fish team, a fish team in the water nearby. Prime location to cast a line and try to catch a bite. Though bait is required, the party could craft some. Yeah, we don't have any bait. Alright, let's craft. With little time, the party can craft some bait from suitable food from the party. Okay. Fish bait can be created from spare fish and foodstuffs. Zero pounds of foodstuff. Dang. Yeah, we can see. Yeah, let's push on. We ain't fishing. We ain't fishing anyway. When the, when it comes time to it, uh, we'll just hunt. Ooh. Eliza reaches into the wagon to check the group's supplies, then emits a startling yelp and stumbles backwards. A snake hastily slithers out of the wagon. Though nobody manages to get a good look at its species. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
The creature has bitten Elijah in the arm. Oh, come on. Yeah, we gotta treat it. No, suck out the venom. Who's gonna suck out the venom? Steal her. Go, princess. Why are you consider? Best course of action. No, do it! Steeler grabs Elijah's arm, sucks the poison out of his wound, and spits it into the dirt. Elijah seems to recover in short order, but Steeler immediately shows signs of illness. God dang it! Dang, now she has a fever. Ah, uh, I must I just sacrificed the home girl because this bitch got it. Because this bitch boy banker had to get bit by a snake. Ugh. Can you hear that? Uh-oh. Oh, the river is up ahead. Greetings, em greetings, immigrants. Welcome to the Kansas River. How do you choose to cross the first real test of the trail? Now, don't even think about forging any rivers deeper than the wagon bed. About two and a half feet. You'll swamp your wagon and lose your supplies. You can caulk the wagon bed and float it, or be smart and hire me to take your wagon on the ferry. Why not have a look around before you decide? You can talk to me anytime, or anytime you want to hear about the crossing options again. First of all, we need to rest. Resting ends the current day and gives the party a chance to recover stamina. It can slightly improve the river conditions. River conditions affect the chances of crossing successfully. Resting can reduce illness, injury, duration. Yeah, we need to rest. Steel is sick. Wagon beds rearranged into and rearrange, is rearranged into as cozy a sleep space as possible and the party settles down for the night. Alright. So we're rested and we're gonna cross. You know what? How much is the ferry? five per person so it's 35 that ain't bad the ferryman is paid and the party waits to waits their turn to take the ferry oh shit we lost three days fuck me dang I would have just Caught the wagon had I known that. That's why we don't take the easy way out, folks. And we made it. The party alights from the ferry after a pleasant after a present a the party alights from the ferry after a pleasant ride across the river. Y'all are watching me struggle to read. I'm literally forgetting how to read by the second. This is crazy. All right, so we just met, we just reached the first leg, about to start our second leg. You want to see me reach the second leg? You make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you smack the hell out of the notification bell so that way you know when we go live with brand new content such as this. Our journey continues on the Oregon Trail the next time. Until then, I'll see you. Brown out.